Welcome back to Mycology Exploration. I'm the husband. And I am the wife. And in this video, we're going to share with you our super simple substrate recipe for cultivating and growing many different types of mushrooms. Substrate is defined as the surface on which an organism grows or is attached. Using substrate to grow mushrooms is the equivalent of using soil to grow plants. There are multiple types of substrates that can be utilized. Soil, dung, straw, sawdust, wood pellets, cocoa and vermiculite mixtures. We strive to give the simplest, straightforward recipe to help make your journey as uncomplicated as possible. With that being said, our substrate recipe is 50% cocoa coir and 50% vermiculite with a little bit of gypsum for that pH balance. We use the highest quality organic cocoa coir along with the highest quality fine vermiculite. The cocoa coir brick weight does vary. However, the average weight is one and a half pounds. So you simply bring that one brick of cocoa coir to filled capacity. Your cocoa coir will have instructions. However, within the instructions, it does say that you can heat the water up to 100 degrees when slowly pouring over your cocoa coir brick to bring it to filled capacity. Keep in mind, we are going to pasteurize the substrate up to 140 degrees. You just want to slowly pour the water over the cocoa coir brick until it is completely broken up. The cocoa coir brick will expand five to seven times once it reaches filled capacity. Keep in mind you will be adding additional water so you cannot over add water in this filled capacity step or process. Once you've brought your cocoa coir to filled capacity, we recommend that you add a little bit of additional water and add one teaspoon of gypsum for pH balance. It's easier to mix and stir the gypsum within the cocoa coir before adding the vermiculite. It is your choice whether you want to weigh out your vermiculite and your filled capacity cocoa coir to make sure you have a 50-50 mixture, or you could just make it simple and eyeball it. We suggest that you hold off on adding your vermiculite and you just move your substrate to all of the pots or crock pots that you'll be using. Then you can add your vermiculite to each pot, adding additional water, then thoroughly mixing and stirring so that you see the 50-50 mixture within your cocoa coir and your vermiculite. You can simply add as much water as you would like to make the stirring process easy. You'll be filtering out all of this water before adding to your tubs or your bags. As always, we highly recommend using purified filtered water or distilled water. Once you have your substrate mixed and in your pots or crock pots, you're going to want to pasteurize and bring the temperature to 140 degrees. Keep in mind, if you're using the stovetop, anything that's on the bottom of the pot closest to the burner will cook. It will cook and get hotter much faster than the rest of the substrate. So you're going to have to make sure that you're stirring quite often if you're using the stove top. You should be able to do this on a simmer or a low setting on your stove top. Make sure that you're using a temperature gauge, checking your temperature throughout the process to not overcook. You wanna just simply raise the temperature to 140 degrees and stir often. If you're using a slow cooker or crock pot, it distributes the heat so it's not cooking on the bottom like a stove top. Just think of it like frying an egg in a pan. You can leave the yolk raw and fry and cook the whites because it's closest to the burner of the pan and there's more airflow on the top of the pan. 
So even within your crock pot, you're still gonna have to stir it a few times before reaching 140 degrees because the outside and the bottom will heat much quicker. Once your substrate has reached 140 degrees, simply turn off the heat and let it cool to room temperature. A pillowcase is a brilliant way to strain all that extra water out of your substrate after pasteurizing it. We simply use a five gallon bucket and a large pillowcase. You pour in all the substrate, allowing the water to just drip out the bottom of the pillowcase. You can twist the pillowcase, you can squeeze on it until all the water has dripped out. You don't want to over dry it, you don't want to dry it out, you just simply want to drain off all that excess water. From there, we just grab a box and use a clean trash bag pouring the substrate that is now at filled capacity and ready to be used, cooled to room temperature. For the mushrooms that have called for a casing layer, we have made it really simple and we just sprinkle on a dry layer of vermiculite that we do not pasteurize, just straight out of the bag because we use such high quality vermiculite that is a fine dusting we simply sprinkle it along the top and put a generous amount of misted water on top of that and it has been an ideal casing layer. So a super quick recap is one and a half pound of coco coir brick that you're gonna to bring to filled capacity, 50% vermiculite, you're gonna add one teaspoon of gypsum for your pH balance, Bring that to 140 degrees, then let it cool to room temperature, straining the water out using a pillowcase and a bucket before moving it to the bag within the box to easily dish out into your tubs before then mixing with your grain spawn. Thank you for subscribing. Make sure to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when we upload new videos. As always, we look forward to your comments and contributions to our community. We'll see you next time.